In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create and modify lines in GraphPad. And to create a new line, just go into Lines mode, touch the screen, and drag. And you'll notice as you drag, the length of the line is, is displayed in the length field above. If you select a line, you can actually change what type of line and the length. So for example, if we wanted this to be exactly 35 feet, we could just change it to 35 and hit return. And if we drop a dimension on, we'll see it's now 35 feet exactly. In addition, you can change the properties of a line. So if we select it, we change the type. If we have a single line, we can create a guideline or we can put uh, dashes, etc. We can change the width and we'll notice how as we um, slide through that the width is changed. We can also have an endpoint type or we can change the color. If you select the endpoint of a line and drag, you'll see that the line is actually created from that and it's snapping at angles. And that's actually controlled under points in the angle snap. So it can either be off 10, 30, or 45 degrees. We can continue to create lines around a perimeter and help us uh, line things up. We'll see magenta guidelines. And if we uh, snap to another line, it'll actually snap closed. Now, if we select a single line, we have a unique type of line that shows up, which is a guideline. If we select that, we'll actually create a guideline um, exactly on top of the existing line. We can then take that guideline and move it to a location. And if we select another line, and this will apply for all lines that intersect, and hit points, it will create a point at the intersection of those lines. Now, in addition to that, you'll notice that that line was bisected. And so this existing line was changed from a complete line to these two smaller lines. The guideline itself will not be bisected because it's of infinite length. If you create something and you want to back it out, the best way to do that is to hit the, the back out button. And so we're back to where that line was not bisected. Now, if you want to take a line and move it an exact distance, you can go to translate, select the line, and then select the distance and which direction you want it offset. So you can offset an existing line. You'll see the line moved and we'll back that out. Or you can use a feature called duplicate. And so say for example, we wanted to duplicate lines, uh, duplicate this exact line with its line length. Um, going back this direction, we would hit, just hit duplicate. The new line is automatically highlighted and so we can actually create a group of lines very quickly. Again, the best way to back this out is with the undo button. Lastly, there's a double. Um, and what that will do is it'll automatically offset the line perpendicular to the existing line. Now, if we select a group of lines around in a counterclockwise fashion, counterclockwise, it will actually create those lines inside. If we go in a counterclockwise fashion, it will create the lines outside. And so here we've got a one foot offset and we were creating walls of one uh, foot Inside, we just hit duplicate, and we'll see those lines have been created. Now we can use that feature that I discussed earlier where we, we calculate the intersection by selecting the interior lines, hitting points, and now we can use points to select um, that entire area and hit delete, and it'll delete um, those subdivided lines that we don't want. And that pretty much covers all the features of lines mode um, and how you can use them.